bracket is a little is a little on the wide side. Gotcha, gotcha. So your math is about right. You're you're averaging and all. Um, our drivers can average, average anywhere from twenty six hundred plus miles weekly. Um, take home can be anywhere from a thousand to eighteen hundred weekly. Okay, okay. All you have to do is What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another video for that ass. And welcome back to the Lockout Man podcast show. Thank you very much. And in this episode, as always, it is the MTC edition. This is the call. Yes. In today's episode, before we get into all of that, I want to let you guys know I want to say thank you. Thank you very much for all the support that you have given me throughout the year, throughout the years of the make the call segment man you guys enjoy it some of you guys work for the companies that i have called already and some of you guys say hey this uh, helped me out in my decision making process this is one of the calls that i want this is one of the places that i was interested in and i'm glad that you did that call for me so thank you guys very much if you want to support all of the calls and all of the future calls you can do that simply by a few things all right number one share the video all right somebody else might might be interested in the calls that i make get it out there all right get it out there number two definitely hit that like button push the video so that it could be recommended you know what i'm saying so that youtube could push it out to the people that's looking for companies that i call all right number three make sure you subscribe definitely subscribe and 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 engage engage in the community you know what i'm saying i try to uh you know i try to i, I try to make this uh valuable for somebody all right make sure you hit that all button that all button lets you to know that you want all of the videos when i drop them and when i go live all right so thank you for all the support that you guys has given me over the years all the support that you guys has given me this year and i'm going to continue to do what i do this is what i do i make the calls for you so if you have any suggestions or anything like that hit me up in the gmail that's lockout men podcast at gmail.com the easy way to do it is get at me over on instagram at lockout men or you can text me. That's 216-600-2090. If you guys have any questions for me to ask, or if you have any questions for, you know, if you want to chop it up with me on a one-on-one, you can do that for free. I'm just saying, hit me up, and I'll, I'll try to give you the best knowledge that I have, all right? I, I may not know everything, but I'll try to, if, I, I, I try to know something, and if I don't, I'll research it for you, all right? If you guys interested in coming on to the show, definitely hit me up. Let me know on the Instagram. Let me know that you want to come on the show and you want to chop it up with your guy, all right? All right, so let's get on with today's call. Who are we calling today? Let me see. Who are we calling today? Let me see if I can get this image up. Booyah, I'm a star. Freight Incorporated. They're located out of Union, Mississippi. That's what's up. If you guys want to know more about this company, their website is Amistad Freight. And their phone number, their company phone number is 916-776-0435. So without further ado, let's jump into the bit board and let's see what this company is all about. So... I found I, I found this company by way of a suggestion. You know, one of my uh, one of my good trucker buddies hit me off in uh, in Messenger, and he was like, "Lockout, check this out." So I was looking at this right here. This is the conversation that he had uh, with Amistad as far as the pay goes. They say they. The pay is set on a sliding pay scale. We let you pick the speed of the truck. And from that, 
we can tell you the CPM pay. See below for the breakdown. So 64, 52 cent, 65, 51 cent, 66, 50 cent. You see where I'm going with that, so forth and so on. All the way down to 75 miles per hour, you get 41 cent per mile. Now, she said it's full low freight. He says your pay is based off of what speed you choose. So if a driver choose 65, his truck, I mean, 65 for his truck, he will be governed at 65 and the pay and the pay will be 51. Mm, no, actually the pay, yeah, 65, the pay will be 51. So usually the speeds out here anyway is 65 miles per hour. Some trucks go slower. Some trucks go faster. You know, it depends on the driver. Like some drivers, like new drivers, you new jacks, you guys might not want to drive that fast. You guys might want to take it slow and steady. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might want to take it slow and steady. And then there's some super drivers that just want to get there and get there quick. Now, she asked me what if I was to come in and ask what speed I would like personally i i honestly would would like a faster truck but but now that i think about it maybe a 65 mile an hour truck isn't bad you know what i'm saying but considering that i'm a five-year driver you know going on six is 51 cent a mile is good for a driver of my caliber at a truck at 65 miles an hour? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I when I go, when I leave a company, when I leave a company, I, I want the next company to be, as far as cent per mile, to be a little bit more than what I was making at the previous company. I don't want to go backwards. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm making, say, like, 60 cent a mile then the next company i go to i either want them to either match that or do better not going backwards so if you're an if you're an experienced driver that's that's already making 60 70 cent a mile then this company might not be for you but if you're a new driver coming into the game you know what i'm saying coming into the game and you could pick the mouse that you want that you you could pick the speed of the truck to get the to get the amount that you want then that might work for you i'm just saying it it, it just might it just might work uh it just might work for you so if you at 64 miles per hour you get 52 and if you go to 75 miles per hour you get 41 I'm a start freight. Let's see what's let's see what's uh I'm a start freight got to offer. Now, I was looking at their trucks. They got some nice trucks there. They got she says that they got automatics and 18 speed trucks. And these hoods look good. Uh if I'm not mistaken, they look like they're international Lone Star or some shit like that. If I'm not mistaken. Let's go to Let's go see who they are, man. Now they what now the website pretty much don't give you that much information about the about the about the company as far as breakdown and all like that. So of course I had to extend my research and I would get there for you guys. All right. Now, I'm a star freight is a licensed contract carrier and property broker as defined by the motor by the Federal Motor Carrier Association and the United States Department of Transportation. Amistad Freight is headquartered in Mississippi with offices in California and virtuous locations throughout the United States. The company has an impeccable, main, uh, impeccably maintained late model fleet of tractors and trailers equipped with GPS and California Air Resource Board compliant devices. 
All right. So that's that's who they are. All right. So basically, again, like I said, when I was doing my research, I had to extend the research for you guys. And of course, that extension goes to Facebook right here. So, of course, typed in I'm a stop freight. They got about a thousand about sixteen hundred people following uh, about 50 people had checked in. I'm a stop freight dot com. Of course, there's their phone number. And if you want to talk to them through Facebook, you can you can hit them up with the message. I'm not sure if the recruiter that I talked to would be the one that would be the one that's responding. But I don't know. But there's ways to get in contact with this company. All right. This company been in existence since 1999. Um Right here, this says, why drive for Amazon, uh, Amistad Freight? Small company where you're not just a driver, you're a part of the family. Air quotes. Loan miles. They run interstates 10, 20, and 40. New equipment. Stop pay, breakdown pay, low, uh, layover pay, and detention pay. Make sure you find out how much each one of those are. Uh, $3,000 sign-on bonus, which is paid by the month i think it's like the first is 500 dollars and it's 250 dollars every month thereafter 200 dollars for passing the dot inspection at any level uh a thousand dollar quarterly safety bonus flexible home time 401k benefits strong driver support from the dispatch team and they want to know one question they say why are you not with them? All right. Now let's find. Now let's uh, let's go and see uh, if I'm a stop freight has some good reviews. You know, I think I actually found the reviews on here. Uh, of course, Indeed only gives you like the first three. And if I can remember, because my internet is so slow, thank you, loves internet. After paying, after paying five dollars for the premium, and you're running super slow right now, how is that possible that you could pay five dollars for three or uh, about three or four hours of premium internet? Only to get the slow speed. I don't get that, loves. Loves, I don't get it. I'm I'm not liking it right now. Not liking it. Uh, but it did pop up. So let me uh bring this up. All right, so loves internet just isn't working for me right now after paying for the premium super fast premium, whatever, whatever. I, I never I never had an issue. With, well, maybe it's because where I'm at, too, because right now I'm posted up at Gary, Indiana. And, yeah, this this loves right here is just terrible, terrible, terrible. But I was able to find I'm a stop freight employee reviews. And, you know, with Indeed, you give a review, you get a review. You know what I'm saying? But. Only three, only three was uh, was able to come up. It says environment is horrible. Management are extremely bully, bullies. They will lie and deceive to manipulate any situation to benefit themselves. They use the guise of paying a salary wage to get out of paying for overtime. You are forced to work there. There therein to be fired uh he's a transportation coordinator how about the driver here we go truck driver class a bunch of lying stealing cheating no respect for dot rules no respect for drivers this company should be shut down unsafe demands drivers to break the dot rules mm. pretty much Pretty much left you alone. I truly like. Here's one. All right. Company, company cross country class A driver. Pay increase never happened even after a year. 
hardest part of the job. Eventually, the company fired this person, hmm. even though we, even though we were never told. But fifty plus years old, I know he got fired. Most enjoyable part, they truly let they truly left you alone a lot. I truly like this and let me do my job. I'm not sure if this is all over the place right here, man. This is all over the place. So I'm not even sure, but but yeah, if you guys uh if you guys are interested in Amistad Freight, as are interested in Amistad Freight, definitely give them a call and uh find out more. As of right now, let's get in to the call. I'm a stop, right? This is Lauren. Hey, how's it going, Lauren? Uh, you you are a recruiter, right? That's that's what I want to talk to. I am. Okay, okay, awesome, yeah. awesome. How you doing? My name's uh Lashawn, and uh, I'm a five year truck driver. I came up, actually, I came across you guys uh via a Facebook group. Uh, a young a young driver put uh -huh. put the information. Uh, I think it was probably a conversation between uh, someone there between about about uh, you guys pay how you know your sliding scale. So I was kind I was kind of interested in finding out a little bit more about the company as well. So is it all right that I ask you a few questions? Okay. Absolutely, you can ask me anything. Go ahead. All right, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Now, being that uh that. I, I haven't heard of this company. So how do you pronounce the name? Amistad or Amistad? Amistad. Amistad. Okay. Can you give me a brief background of the company? Sure. Um, so let's tell you a little bit about, like, where we are at all. So we are located in Union, Mississippi, mm -hmm. um, which is just off of 20 in between Meridian and um, Jackson. Um, just a little, you know, country town, not a whole lot, but a little nice little quaint old country town. We have to do orientation and everything um, in Meridian because that's the biggest city close to us. But um, so we haul perishable freight. We pick up chicken in Mississippi and Arkansas and deliver to California. And in California, we pick up produce and deliver back to Louisiana, Mississippi, and Tennessee. Um we are a smaller company. It was founded in 1999. Um, so right now, total fleet with owner ops and company trucks, we're right at about 96. Okay. Um, so, but we're, we're expanding a little bit, buying a little bit more trucks. We just purchased 10 new peats um, that will come, I think, it's estimated maybe in January now. Um, so with those, I think, you know, it'll put us over 100, but I think that's about where we're going to stop at as far as buying our own company trucks. As of now, of course, that could always change. Right. I, I noticed on the website that y'all that y'all equipment are like, no, uh, well, we call them hoods. So you, you, you guys are, are, so you guys is like a manual fleet? I mean, uh, fleet? Um, so on our fleet, we have 18 speeds and automatic. So just whatever you prefer. Okay, 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 awesome. You said the orientation will take will take place in where Mississippi? Meridian. Meridian. What 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 might I need to bring with me? You know, after I get approved and all that other good stuff, and I get you know come up there. What might I need to bring with me? And how would you bring me up there? So where do you live? I stay in Ohio. Oh, okay. So um. So we would arrange transportation to get you from Ohio to Mississippi, whatever your preference is, flight, bus, train, um, either one. We, as far as like, I mean, some people ask about rental cars. We can do rental cars, but it's not something that we can pay for out of pocket up, up front. That's one thing that like you could rent and then we reimburse you for the rental cars and the gas. But um, if it was train, bus, anything, flight, we could pay for that out up front. Um, okay. And then you wouldn't be out of pocket. But so we would provide transportation to get you to us uh, in Meridian. Mm -hmm. um, orientation is three days, um, about three days. We're, we're in the process of kind of changing orientation up. So we don't, 
know exactly how long it's going to be yet. So uh, something we're still playing with. We're estimating two to three days. Um, and you could do one of two things as far as what you brought with you. Sometimes, you know, if you fly, then you can only bring like one small carry-on bag or whatever. Mm -hmm. So you can't bring a whole lot of stuff with you. So if that's the case, we can always route you back by your house when you go out on your first load and you can load up your truck with whatever you need to put in it or, or whatever you want to do. Or if you come and you brought all your stuff with you, then we could just put you out on your first load. You wouldn't have to go back by home. Whichever you prefer, whichever is easiest for you, we can make work. All right. Now, as far as now, what I mean by, you know, what I mean by what the brain would mean, like paperwork, like, you know, I know I have to bring my license, my, my, uh, social security card and all that good stuff but do we need uh can we still use our uh dot card if we already have one yes you can as long as it's current we, we go by that okay 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 what about a uh, pre-employment uh drug screening is is that done is that done before i get yes. to you guys or is it done we, yeah we go ahead and try to get that done before you come so we could have the results and um that wouldn't hold you up getting you out on the road Okay, 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 all right. Awesome. All right, so, all right, so I am real curious about your pay scale. Now, it's on, uh -huh. on here, as I'm, as I'm reading, on here it says you guys base your pay scale on the speed of the truck. My, Correct. I, I, I guess I'm kind of like, I'm I'm kind of uh, uh, I guess I'm kind of confused as to how did you guys come up with that format? Okay, so we got to talk. It hasn't always been like this. This is something that's fairly new, and we just got to talking and decided we wanted to change our pay scale because you know every driver runs different. Every driver out there, you can take twenty drivers and put them in front of you. They all have a different way of doing things, right? Some drivers slow and steady. Some drivers they won't. Some, some gas behind them. So we took that into account and we decided that we would let our drivers choose the speed of their truck. And from that, we can kind of gauge what cent per mile we can pay them. Of course, you know, and it can be anywhere from 75 down to 64. Of course, the faster your truck is set, the lower your cent per mile is going to be because we pay more in fuel, right? So the slower you run, the higher your cent per mile is going to be because we save that fuel cost that we can turn around and make it up to you by increasing your cent per mile. So that's okay. So I was going to ask you, so like if you could choose your speed anywhere between 75 and 64, what would you choose? And I can kind of give you a base cent per mile. Well, if anything, I, I, I would choose the faster truck. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I personally would probably right. choose the faster truck because, you know, you figure the, you know, speed limit, like in some parts is like 70 plus. So yeah, the faster truck right. that would, that would help me out in getting my, you know, getting my load there a little bit quicker to get ready for another load to, you know, to keep, you know, to keep rolling. So if I go with seventy five, right? If if, okay. I, if I go with seventy five, I'm looking at what? Okay, so seventy five. Then we can start you out at forty one cents per mile, empty and loaded, and that's for all loads over five hundred miles. So any short runs that would be under five hundred miles would be fifty cents per mile. Okay, now now you guys is doing you you guys is doing it this this way. It doesn't matter how 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 much experience a driver has as far as uh as far as getting no. getting the getting more cent per mile no it doesn't it's just flat for everyone all right so 75 so if i get a 75 mile an hour truck that's 41 cent a mile that's ooh, that's still a little bit low considering but if yeah, I so we also have bonuses and incentives. We have per diem, which is sixty three dollars a day, if for every day you're on the load. We have um, quarterly safety bonuses. So every quarter you drive with us, you have no accidents, failed DOT inspections, tickets such as that. 
and you get an extra thousand bucks in your pocket. We have DOT uh, inspection bonuses. So every time you pass DOT inspection of any level, right now they're paying 400 for those. Um, and we have drivers that volunteer to get those done to make a little extra money. We also, um, right now in the month of December, we have a sign-on bonus. So we have a $3,000 sign-on bonus. Mm-hmm. Plus, we've added a special December $300 December sign-on bonus. So our $3,000 sign-on bonus is paid out 250 every month, generally. Well, that $300 on top of it will be paid out as soon as you finish orientation. So technically, when you finish orientation and go out on your first load, you can leave with $550 in your pocket and then get an extra 250 on your check every month after that. All right, so and we also have raises basically the longer you're with us. So the so the sign on bonus is paid via monthly. The three thousand, correct? It is. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, so I just I I just pretty much figured out in my head, like if I do decide to go with a a governing seventy five mile an hour truck at forty one cent a mile, so between what would be the average miles that I would get a week? Because I I just I just canned it at twenty five hundred and between three thousand. But what are the what are the miles that mm-hmm. can, can the miles can the miles be guaranteed? Would I get a week? Because at forty one cent a mile, yeah, they with, are at forty one cent a mile at three thousand miles. That's about twelve twelve and some change. And then after tax, it'll be like. Maybe about nine hundred ish for me for my take home because my tax bracket is a little is a little on the wide side. Gotcha, gotcha. So your math is about right. You're you're averaging and all. Um, our drivers can average average anywhere from twenty six hundred plus miles weekly. Um, take home can be anywhere from a thousand to eighteen hundred weekly. Okay, okay. So that so that will be so that will be that that will be the average. Uh, pretty much how how often like you know if i how often is the communication um between the driver and the fleet manager like if i call them up if i have some problems or something like that or some issues what is the response time on on getting it or getting a response back from them so we have somebody in place for everything you know we have dispatchers 24 7 that are here um, we have maintenance, a special person that is in charge of this maintenance. We have an office manager, you know, recruiter, or someone that just does the log, fleet manager, everything. So being able to talk to someone and get in contact with someone when you have an issue should not be a problem. Um, it, you know, like I said, we have someone in place for every position. So if, if for some reason you couldn't get in touch with the fleet manager and you needed a problem solved, we always have a backup there that can solve the problem. No problem. You know? All right. Awesome. Uh, are you guys W-2 or 1099? W-2. All right. Do you guys offer – now, I, I know you mentioned early uh, early in our conversation about owner-operators, but do you guys do you guys offer lease – uh, lease options there or no? We do. We do have lease purchase options on all of our trucks. Um, you do have to come on as a company driver for five months before we switch you to lease purchase. The way I like to explain that five month period is just that we like to date you a little bit before we marry you type thing. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Um, but after that five months, we can switch you to lease purchase if everything's good. Our lease purchase drivers make 70% of the load they pull. Our chicken going out is usually around thirty six hundred, and then the produce coming back ranges from fifty five hundred to sixty five hundred. So they make seventy percent of that. With truck note, everything included: truck note, insurance, tags, if those ELDs, everything, even a repair escrow that we set aside for them. Um, the payment on that ends up being around thirteen or fourteen hundred dollars weekly. Okay, and that's including the truck as well. Yes, it is. All right. Uh, now, at the end of the at the end of the lease, is this uh, is this a walk away lease, or at the end of the lease, would the truck be mine? Yes, it is a walk away lease. 
Okay. And that and at the end of the lease, would the yeah. would the truck be mine or do I have to do like a balloon payment or do I have to do another lease out? So we do have Yeah, so we do have a balloon payment at the end of it. Just depending on what truck you pick depends on the balloon payment. But most of our trucks, so all of our trucks really are new. So they still have warranties under them. They still are under warranty. They're under a five year bumper to bumper warranty. So in that weekly payment that's included is that $150 weekly repair escrow. Well, that escrow pretty much just sits there and it grows weekly. I mean, $150 weekly repair escrow over a four to five, you know, year lease, it adds up quick. So a lot of times you'll have enough left over in that repair escrow to cover that balloon payment for you. Okay. Okay. How often, how now... You you just told me the lanes that you guys pretty much go from, uh, from from the top all the way down to California. Um, is it forced dispatch to California? I'm, I'm oh. sorry, your phone was breaking up and you cut out on me. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I, I I know that you guys uh you know you start up you know you start up at the top right, but is there forced dispatch? to california yes there is so and we run all over california okay 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 so for home time uh a couple of questions in that do i get to take the truck home yes you do so when you got ready to go home we would just broker out a load um it's close to like where you live or you know close by that way if you can and then you would go home with your truck and everything okay okay is it a full is it a full two days or just a thirty four hour reset? So our home time, typically our drivers are out about three to four weeks and then bank a day home for every week they're out. So you're looking at you run three to four weeks, home three to four days. Okay, okay. All right. So now you just said you gone you guys brought in some uh some more new equipment. As far as the equipment, uh, what are the amenities inside of them? So I don't really know about our new peaks that we're getting. Um, not familiar with those yet. I can tell you about our internationals that we have now. They um, they don't have APUs. We just allow our drivers to idle. They do have inverters. They have fridges. They have double bunks. They have TV mail. They um, have chicken mice, all that good stuff. Okay. As far as getting our dispatch, uh, is there uh, a computer in the truck like a PeopleNet or a Qualcomm, or do we get our dispatches over the phone? You get them. So we get you to download an app on your phone called Strategy Live, and that's how we get our um, roads to our drivers through right. that app. Now, usually, I now usually I I, I ask question uh, pertaining to phone to personal phone use. So, do you guys reimburse us for downloading that app to our phone? As far as you know, as far as using the phone, I know that's like a far fetched question, but a lot of companies, no, a, a lot of companies now is asking us, like brokers, asking us to download. Uh, trackers to our phones and stuff like that and i was just kind of wondering now you know if i may need to get a separate phone just for the company um so we do require our drivers to have at least a smartphone um in order to download these apps and all because unfortunately you know that's just the day, day and time we live in now you're right birds will ask you to download apps so they can track you we have you have to download an app for us called Strategy to Do Your Load. You have to download another app called Transflow, and that's how you stand in your bill of lading and receipts and all to get paid. Mm-hmm. So that is kind of the day and time we live in now. But um, these apps they don't cost anything, and I know like the apps that you have to download for the brokers. Um, as soon as you finish with that load, you can delete the app and be done. Okay. okay. Um, but these apps that we ask for drivers to download for us. It just kind of cuts out on all the phone calls. So, you know, like our strategy app. So we can go in there through our computers and we can track you from point A to point B. So we're not always on the phone calling you, hey, where are you at? What are you doing? Where, you know, where's our load? Blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. We can just look you up on the computer and we can see where you are. So we don't have to bother you as much. So all this technology, it has its, its upsides too, you know. Um, and then also a lot of these records, you know, instead of them calling you and voting you all the time, where are you at, what's your ETA, all this other kind of stuff, 
a call was, and again, we can track you because of this app we've asked you to download, and then they're not bothering you. So you can just do your job and drive. Okay, okay. That's what's up. That's what's up. Um, do you guys have driver cameras in your trucks? We do not. Okay, okay, cool. All right, well, I, I only got a few more questions, and I do appreciate that uh, that you're taking the time with me. Uh, this this helps me this helps me out to better understand uh, to better understand Amistad. Um, do you guys do you, what's your policy on right. what's what's your policies on felons drivers with felonies? So usually it's it's fine. It depends on what it is. If it is like a vehicular um, incident, then then we have to kind of question that. Mm-hmm. But other things, um, they're usually just okay. Okay, okay, okay. So pretty much on a case by case basis, pretty much. Yes, it is. Uh huh. All right. Um, my last question depend. Uh, my last question is on driver safety. You know, considering the fact that this year has been a real roller coaster of a year, a tumultuous year for us drivers that's out here. Uh, how do you guys like? You know, there have been riots, there have been, you know, there have been protests and stuff like that. Uh, let's say if a driver or let's say myself say, hey, I don't want to go into Chicago because of what's going on over there. Uh, would you guys protect, you know, would you guys stand behind me and protect me for not going into Chicago in the in the high in the high risk areas like that? Absolutely. So at the end of the day. Your safety is our number one concern, no matter what. That's just, you know, not only talking about the rides and all that, like, just for instance, snow and stuff. So we, we don't have a, quote, chain-up policy because we don't send our drivers anywhere that we would need mm-hmm. to chain up. Because we just know how dangerous the snow and everything is. If you ever even encounter that, like, we just tell you, stop. Don't even worry about it because the safety is, you know, number one. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. Well, thank you very much. Uh, my last, very, very last question is: what's what's your driver turnover rate? I mean, it sounds like every, everything that you're telling me, especially with the way that the pay scale is set up, you you guys still have a low turnover rate. What's what's your turnover rate? Yeah, I would say about twenty percent. You know, the reason why the reason why I called so I can get a better understanding of the of the of the pay scale. You know, because I was still, you know, still kind of confused on that. Right. But as I, you know, as 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 you explained to me, and as I'm looking at it a little bit more, I can get my truck governed that, I can get my truck governed that like seventy and still get uh forty six cent a mile, right? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna be honest with you, but for the most part, I think drivers stay around seventy or seventy one or seventy two. That way, it still gives them some speed. And so get up and go about them, and still have a, a little bit more cent per mile fee. Um, but I do have drivers that are at seventy five, and they're doing really well at forty one cent. I have drivers that are at at sixty four, making fifty two cents per mile, and they still do good. So I think it's just like I said, it just depends on what kind of driver you are, how you run, how you handle things, as to how much money you make. Well, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. That's that's pretty much all I have. Uh, I definitely will take this information back with me to my Facebook group and, you know, network it with uh with all my driver friends and all like that. So you might be getting some calls. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, if you would like to, I can send you the link to our application and you can pass it out however need be or, or whatever you, you would like to do with it. All right, I appreciate that. You can uh you can send it over to Lockout Men. Okay, I will send that right over to you. And if you have any other questions, feel free to call me back, or you can send anyone else to me. Um, be happy to talk to them. Not a problem. Not a problem. It'll be my pleasure. Thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. I'm a side, everybody. <laughs> wow. What do you guys think of that call right there, man? I mean, it was uh, pretty simple, pretty pretty straightforward, you know, pretty, you know, straightforward questions that I normally have for these recruiters. And they got straightforward answers. Some answers I, I still feel that they could probably answer and they 
you know, they 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 can't answer like the guarantee if I'm guaranteed three thousand miles a week, which, you know, they could probably say yes, but if you don't get if you don't have a repertoire with your fleet manager, DM or dispatcher, then you don't know what's gonna be your guaranteed miles per week. The thing that really that really, you know, that that really still set in with me and 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 I was really confused about was the sliding scale. So the faster you go, the lower you get paid. Now she says that the reason why they do that is that they save on the fuel charge. Okay. And that I, I guess, you know, I, I guess that works. You know what I'm saying? Because she said that some drivers that's at the low, at 64 miles an hour still make good money, while drivers at 75 miles an hour still making good money at 41 cent a mile. So th would that work for you? Would you like to work for a company that that gives you the opportunity to say, hey, I want to go at a certain speed to make this amount of money? I mean, now that I call, because at first, at, at first when I seen it, when I seen it, I was like, how is that? Like, you know, like, is that the faster I go, the low money I get? I, I don't want to, I don't want to come in at 75 miles an hour making 41 cent a mile. That's only 800, that's only like 900, like eight or $900 a week. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means you will actually have to push 3000 plus to get a decent paycheck. You know what I'm saying? But, but if you run the truck at 64 or 65 miles an hour, then you would get 51, uh, 52 or 51 cent a mile. Now a lot of trucks out here are governed at 65 miles an hour and we could still we could still make money. And at 52 51 or 52 cent a mile, that's probably, you know, that's probably might be good money for you. You know, so is that a way to is that is is that a way? Okay. Is that good for you to Choose the mile, I mean, choose how fast the truck go versus how much you get paid. You know what I'm saying? Would you want to run at 75 miles per hour, making 41 cents a mile? You know, some places, and they go down to California, so California is only 55 miles an hour. Other, other highways tip on 70. So at 70... At 70 miles, you can make 46 cent a mile. That's at, that's at 70 miles an hour. To me, that's still a little bit too low, especially for somebody that got some years behind them, like me, five years. You know, how about a driver with 10? You know, how about a driver with 10 years? You tell them, hey, you know, I want... You know, I want my truck to go at 70 miles an hour. Okay, well, we can offer you 40 cents in a mile. Eee. Oh, and that's over the road? Not regional? Hmm. But what do you think, though? What do you think? Would that work for you? Would you, would you want to, would you, you, yes, you, would you want to set your truck at a certain speed? to get paid a certain amount, you know, that's something to think about, something to think about. I'm going to start everybody out of, let me see where they at. They are located, well, while I'm looking for, while I'm looking for the location, I can tell, I could probably tell you the phone. Uh, here we go. Union, Mississippi. Uh, and their phone number is, 916-776-4034. Their website is Amistad. I mean AmistadFreight.com. So if you guys want to be, if you guys want to know a little bit more about Amistad or you guys want to 
uh, see if you can, you know, drive for Amistad, definitely give her a call. That is going to do it for this episode of Lockout Man Podcast. Thank you guys for joining me. I really do appreciate it. The MTC edition. You know what I'm saying? Yo, get your suggestions in. Who do you want me to call next? Let me know in the comments below. Hit me up over on Instagram at Lockout Men. Or you can do it in the Gmail. That's Lockout Men Podcast at gmail.com. While you're at it, make sure you support the calls i really do appreciate it you know i take the time out let you guys you know do these calls for you guys you know to make your decision uh to make your trucking decision a little bit more comfortable you know what i'm saying just just a little just a little hook a brother up with some coffee sometimes you know what i'm saying i'm right here at the loves about to go in there and get me something to eat get get me something to drink so hook a brother up with some breakfast lunch or dinner or you can join the community which is probably a lot easier so join the community let me know who you want me to call if you have any questions or anything like that let me know what they are, and I'll probably implement them into the next call. All right, I try to keep it. I try to keep the calls on a low variance. You know what I'm saying? You know, not trying to keep them, not trying to keep them too long, but not too short, so I can get the fundamentals of what you guys may need to know about these companies. All right. So, if any other questions that you that I haven't asked that you have definitely call and ask them you know ask them yourself all right well that's again i'm done you guys take it easy thank you for watching thank you for listening i really do appreciate it wrong banner thank you for watching thank you for listening i really do appreciate it you guys come back for another episode of the lockout man podcast uh the mtc edition until then you guys stay safe and be blessed out there i'll talk to you later Peace. Searching, 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 and searching, and searching.